All right, today we're jumping straight into handbook highlights and we're talking about dress code and cell phone use at school. Looking at dress code, school is the business of youth and all of our youth must dress appropriately for that business. With that being said, your tops must have shoulder straps and your skin must be completely covered from your armpit to your mid thigh at the three inch inseam mark. Your shorts must also have a minimum length of a three inch inseam. No holes revealing your skin are allowed above that three inch inseam. You must wear shoes or appropriate footwear at all times and none of the following garments are allowed. No clothing or articles that advertise or promote alcohol, drugs, or tobacco products, including vaping products. No suggestive, vulgar, profane, or offensive markings, pictures, or lettering on your attire. No military fatigues. No gang-affiliated clothing articles. No caps, no hats, no raised hoods. No slippers, and sorry, you can't sleep at school. No pajama pants. If you are sent home to change due to a dress code violation, your time away from school will be counted as an unexcused absence. And the last topic we'll cover today is cell phone use at school or electronic devices of any sort, including iWatches. Students are not allowed to use their cell phone during class or during advisory. The phone must be silenced and out of sight. We ask parents to please help their student out by not texting and calling them during the school day. The first offense for using your cell phone during a class is a verbal warning. The phone is confiscated the remainder of the day and the student can pick up the device at the office at the end of the day. The second offense, the phone is confiscated in the office the remainder of the day and a phone suspension is served the next school day where the student is required to turn the device into school upon arrival. The device is then kept in the office safe the entire school day and the student can pick it up from the office at the end of the day. On a third offense, in addition to another phone suspension for the day where the student turns the phone in, the student is assigned an after-school detention to serve. All subsequent offenses after the third offense, in addition to another phone suspension for the following school day, the student is assigned a one-day in-school suspension. Refusal to submit your device for the phone suspension will also equal a full day in-school suspension. I'm asking that parents be my partner in education in stressing to their student at home the importance of having their phone silenced and out of sight during their classes. This will help us to eliminate distractions so students can work to their fullest potential. That way we can help them succeed beyond high school. If you have questions regarding these policies or need any other type of supports for your students, please contact the school office here is our contact information.